Are you on a GLP-1 medication and realizing that you miss eating food and enjoying it? If so, this video is for you. Hey everybody, it's Allie. I'm on a fantastical weight loss journey. And today I wanted to talk about missing eating food or a lack of joy when eating food. Somebody posted in one of the support groups and they were asking the question, do you miss eating food? Do you miss the, the joy of sharing a meal with others? And I wanted to provide a take on this because I feel like this is part of the healing your relationship with food that I often refer to. So when I first started out, yes, I missed eating food. Um, just as a reference, my whole life was centered around food. I watched nothing but food shows on TV. Um, food Network was my go-to. I was constantly meal planning, grocery list making, thinking about food, saving TikTok recipe videos, right? Like just imagine a world that is completely centered around food. When are we having the next meal? Was often my next thought process after just having a meal. So a lot of people refer to that as food noise. One of the things that GLP-1 medications do is they help you with the food noise. And now that I no longer have food noise, I went through this, this kind of arch, if you will, of being sad that I no longer enjoyed food to understanding the role that food played in my life now. And then again, coming back to a place of enjoying food. And I haven't seen anybody talk about this, so that's why I wanted to bring it up. I see a lot of people say, oh, I miss snacking, or oh, I don't miss food at all. I feel free now that I don't think about it all the time. But I don't see anybody talking about the actual healing process and what that looks like. So for me, and again, this is just for me, it started out with being sad, certainly not depressed, but noticing a sadness when it came to no longer enjoying the things that I enjoyed before. And that got me thinking and I was like, why am I sad about this? It's just food. What is it that I'm sad about? Well, because I used food as a coping mechanism, right? What I was really mourning was the loss of that coping me mechanism because it was so easy. A moment's boredom was easily cured by eating a bag of sun chips. A stressful day was easily cured by drinking an old fashioned and um, eating fast food for dinner, right? Like there was, there was a coping mechanism there. There was a comfort there and those go-to items, right? And we all have them. And I think that that was really what it was I was mourning. It was not so much the food because I still enjoyed the food. It's not like everything tasted bad. I actually started to enjoy things that I had never enjoyed before. And if you've watched my previous videos, I've talked about how my whole life, I have not been a fan of hot wings or buffalo sauce. And now I put buffalo sauce on my grilled chicken wraps that I make, my little low carb wraps. And that still blows my mind to say that because I enjoy it now and it's very weird to me. Um, 
And there are other instances like that. Like uh, now I like um, green apple flavored um, drinks, right? I get the little flavor, zero sugar flavor packets, green apple. Not, not in my entire life have I liked green apple as a flavor ever in anything ever. I would avoid it like the plague. Now I drink it a couple times a week. I have green apple days and that's all I drink. Like it's weird. It's weird. And I get that it's weird. At the same time, if you are doing the work, if you're trying to heal your relationship with food and you're feeling this sadness, it's okay. It's okay. And it's normal. And what I would recommend to you is sit in those feelings. As silly as that sounds, don't try to run from it. Don't try to eat your way out of it. Just sit in those feelings and say to yourself, am I really missing the food? Or is it something else? And then one of the things that this person mentioned was that they don't enjoy going out to eat anymore. And the way that I fix that, because I understand that, the way that I fix that is I have a set food item that you can find at most restaurants that I order every single time. So it doesn't matter where we're going to eat. I know I'm getting grilled chicken and a salad and maybe a side vegetable. That's it. And it took all of the excitement and anticipation and obsessing over the place that we were going to eat. It took all of that away. So then what I was left with was the same meal. My phone cut off. What I was left with was the same meal that I would be eating normally, right? If I was at home, but I was out with people and I could then focus on enjoying the conversation, enjoying being in their presence, listening to their stories, right? Instead of just, blah, 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 you know, scarfing down food because, oh my God, we're at barbecue, right? Like, you find something else to be excited about. And I think that's part of the healing journey. So, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. And let me know down below what it is that you miss or that you've noticed a change in your thought process since starting a GLP-1 medication. And as always, be kind, rewind.